And those are some of the headlines. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. A prominent Yemeni journalist who was in prison for three years at the apparent request of the Obama administration has been released in the Yemeni capital of Sana'a. Abdelayla Haidashaya was sentenced in January 2011 to five years in jail on terrorism-related charges following a trial that was condemned by many human rights and press freedom groups. Shaya's release Tuesday reportedly comes in the form of a presidential pardon that requires him to remain in Sana'a for two years. This could prevent him from traveling to the sites of U.S. drone strikes strikes in Yemen, a topic he's previously reported on. Shia was first in prison in 2010 after he helped expose the United States' role in a 2009 cruise missile attack on the Yemeni village of Al-Majla that killed 41 people, including 14 women and 21 children. The Yemeni government initially took credit for the strike, saying it had targeted an al-Qaeda training camp, but it was later revealed through WikiLeaks cables that it was, in fact, a U.S. attack. Investigative journalist Jeremy Scahill reports extensive on this attack in his new book and film called Dirty Wars, The World is a Battlefield. He'll join us in a minute. But first, this is Abdulayla Haidershaya speaking in 2010. He spoke to reporters from inside a cage cell in a Yemeni courtroom at his trial, saying he was arrested because he reported on the murders of children and women. When they hid murderers of children and women in Abiyan, when I revealed the locations and camps of nomads and civilians in Abiyan, Shabwa, and Ahab, when they were going to be hit by cruise missiles, it was on that day they decided to arrest me. You notice in the court how they have turned all of my journalistic contributions and quotations to international reporters and channels into accusations. Yemen, this is a place where the young journalist becomes successful. He is considered with suspicion. Within a month of Abdullah Haida Shadr's um, sentencing in 2000, 2011, then Yemeni President Ali Abdullah Saleh announced he was going to pardon the journalist. But Saleh apparently changed his mind after a phone call from President Obama. According to a White House readout, Obama, quote, expressed concern over the release of Shia. The journalist then remained locked up despite growing calls by human rights groups for his immediate release. Shia's lawyer, Abdurrahman Barman, described the impact of President Obama's phone call. Yes, there was a visit by some social figures and sheikhs to the president, and they negotiated his release and his pardoning. We were all waiting in the office for the release memo, which was printed and prepared in a file for the president to sign. And he was to announce the pardon the next day. But the mediators were hasty to announce that pardon. That same day, President Obama called the Yemeni president to express U.S. concerns over the release of Abdullah Haider. That was Shia's attorney. He was talking to Jeremy Scahill. When we come back from break, we'll be joined by investigative journalist Jeremy Scahill about the release of Abdullah Haider Shia. We'll also be joined by a Yemeni activist. This is Democracy Now! We'll be back in a minute.